funny with nail art. Some people think it's such a vain thing, like, oh, it's just getting your nails done. It's just a color, it's just a design. But I've had really meaningful moments with people. I'm Amy Vega. I'm a Dominican American and I'm a nail artist. I got started in 2011 and I started a blog just to share my art. And so I pursued nail school later that year. And in 2013, I signed with an agency and did it full time. I find inspiration from everything, from anything I see outside, from a pattern, a texture, a book, a feeling. So anywhere you can literally find inspiration in anything. So I grew up in Washington Heights all my life, I still live here. Being a first generation Dominican, I would say, it's interesting, especially as an Afro-Latina, you have that kind of caught, caught in the middle of being too Latina or too American, you know, from one end or the other, and kind of trying to navigate both peacefully without people feeling like, oh, you're too Americanized or you're too Latino, you're too Spanish, you're too this. With my art, especially lately, I feel like that comes out because I get a lot of um, misunderstandings in terms of my art and my representation and my uh, pushing my blackness. I think my culture is a big part of me, so it's important to me to include it into my art and also give it representation. There isn't enough Latino representation in the nail world, so I love that I can bring that in. My biggest career moment was publishing my nail art book. You don't see too many nail art books with people of color out there, period. So to come in and be like, okay, I did it too, that was just one of my favorite moments. I think it's important to support each other and to have community within the Latino community, especially as creatives. We're uplifting each other, so we all meet our goal without having to put the next person down.